So when you're big, you're big. Over. Then you know that you're really big. Over. Then you got to give your audience a fire that and tell them to know that you are really big. Over. So welcome on board again, my wonderful viewers in our usual way. Over. As I'm giving you the best. And as you're enjoying every bit of it, as you are getting to learn more, so in our usual practice, let's see what we have to offer today. So, as I've continued to make updates on my virtual DJ mapping, so I've also improved on it. I'm constantly working on it. So you have to be patient with me as we are gradually giving it another good touch, just the way we see I play on my keyboard. So, a virtual DJ is a software that has really made it very easy, especially when you have little knowledge of programming. You're able to play around with the software very well. So you go to your settings, the keyboard settings as usual. So when you come right here at the right hand side of your screen, you see I have scratch. I also have another mapping up here. This one takes care of hot cues. So you can have multiple mappings. You can have up to five. So for those who have downloaded my mapping, I'm going to show you how you get to put it in your virtual users with the software. You don't need to replace your original mapping. Once you download it, it's in an XML file. SML file is just a file format that is used to store information, store settings, store data, especially for web browsing transmission most of the time. But it's another default function for the system in storing your settings. So for the case of the virtual DJ, we are using it to store our settings for the virtual DJ software. So you see there is another custom mapping here. It's just like the custom mapping that you do, where you have functions attached to every key. So you have an action. Just like you have people in a place that you attach responsibility to. That is exactly what the mapping does. So it's just the way usual mapping that you know, like the normal Microsoft and other software is available out there. So when you get to this particular site that I've been using all this while, so this is it. So I have a lot of content there. When you scroll, you see I have a lot of videos, drop names, and a host of other. This is the latest mix I just released. I'm sure you really love this. For those who have come across this on my Facebook page or TikTok and any other uh, platform, Instagram, I'm sure you really enjoy the sound. So you can check out for it. It's just a short mix. I'll be giving you more. I have another one here too. These are the DJ samples you have that you can check out to see what, uh, what you can get. So this is another DJ mix. Although I have one that you have to pay, but don't worry, I'll make it free for some times. So that you can lay your hands on this is the xml file i'm talking about you can see you can download this one so i'll be making an update i'll be dropping it there too so you see there are some that are zip everything there i have another link that i also make provision there too other links there you can check out so when you are done downloading the xml file you have it in a zip format so you have it in a zip format so it will be in a zip format something like this when you click on it click extract or open anyone but if i click open you'll see what it will tell me there is no any password attached to it will be something like this when you open you can see it i have an instruction on readme how to install it look at it i have an instruction there so look at the two files once you get access to it i also have some, some dj drop samples that i'm using right inside that same folder irrespective of the two links you'll be using you'll see everything like this so the advantage of this here is you can save it and keep it for future purposes in the event maybe you want to switch your device you can just copy it from one folder to another then come to your virtual dj software let me go to the virtual dj software for you to see so this is the virtual dj software down here 
we open it when we come to our mapper look at it you can see them so you can just copy my own and just add it here just the way i showed you let's see the folder again just as you have it here maybe you have to unzip it when you unzip it So when you unzip it, this is the raw file, you just copy it, you just copy it, but you have to extract it first, when you extract it, irrespective of the folder it shows you, you copy it, then you come to this particular folder, you just paste, once you paste it, you have it something like this, with your original one, so that you don't tamper with your original one, in the event you want to go back to your reset factory setting, maybe to learn some things and to build up, so once you are done, you save it, once you are done putting it here, that's all. Then for the aspect of the drumming, you check out my video on where I talked about the drumming samples, how we play drum. You will see how I talked about talked about setting up this keyboard, these keys on the keyboard and how to do it. So it's just the same thing. This one has virtually everything, including the mapping for this keyboard. So once you get it there, you will now close your virtual dj but you have to make sure virtual dj software is closed while doing that then by the time you reboot it you sorry you launch it again you will now see that everything is here you just select any one of your choice and you are good to go so we are, we are using the scratch so let me maintain the scratch the scratch i'm using i'm not using the hot key the hot key is enable me play around with the with the key as if i'm using uh, acid pro dj while starting the song so once you don't have everything, you close it, then you will now see that everything is now working. It's working exactly the way I'm using it. You will now see that your entire it's working the way I'm using it. So and one thing I must tell you there is for you to be good in this, you have to learn. That is just the truth. You cannot be good in anything without practice. That is just the truth. Most of the things I do here, they are things, even the aspect of the mapping, they are things I learn over years. They don't just happen by chance. So it requires a lot of hard work and some level of smart work. The smart work there is you learn from other people, especially the way you are watching and giving. I'm giving some of these resources for free. But there are things I spent so much money to learn over the years. So we are grateful. I think I'm grateful I've really made impact by giving you this for free. I would have made it in a platform that you have to pay, but you have nothing to worry about. I'm here for you. So continue to enjoy yourself as we continue to give you the, continue to give you the very best. When you are big, you know that you are big. And I'm going to make you that big. That you know that you're already big a bear. Forget to keep a date and watch out for other videos coming your way. Let's get the fire rolling.